Here's the latest on Hurricane Dorian, which is just offshore the northeast coast of Florida. So far, it has largely spared northeast Florida and the rest of the Florida coast from the worst of its wrath, staying just far enough offshore to just produce tropical storm conditions from the Treasure Coast and the Space Coast up to around Jacksonville. Some wind gusts have reached up to 50 to 70 miles per hour, but our real concern now is locations farther to the north along coastal Georgia and especially into the coastal Carolinas, South Carolina coast, and the North Carolina coast, where this storm will make a very close approach Wednesday night through Thursday, potentially making landfall along the North Carolina Outer Banks or even a little farther south during the day on Thursday. Because the storm will be making this close approach, the core of its most severe weather is likely to move right along the coast or even a little bit inland. I feel like it's a last call for evacuation. And, and I'll repeat again, if anybody lives somewhere that flooded in one of these prior events, you ought to head to higher ground. We're looking at a triple threat from heavy rainfall, a storm surge, which is a rise in ocean water above normally dry land, and very strong winds, potentially 60 to 80 miles per hour or even higher in the hardest hit areas. That means some power outages, some wind damage, but especially along the South Carolina coast and parts of the North Carolina coast, we're really concerned about storm surge. Again, the water level may rise up to five to eight feet above normally dry land. In Charleston and Savannah, we may be looking at water levels among the top five highest in recorded history, higher than even Hurricane Matthew and Hurricane Irma, which have hit in the last couple of years. Areas to the north and northwest of Virginia Beach and the southern Delmarva, these areas are just likely to be brushed or grazed by the storm. So places like Richmond, Washington, just maybe a few showers Friday into Friday night, maybe a few wind gusts at 15 to 25 miles per hour, but nothing out of the ordinary whatsoever. Of course, Dorian's not the only show in town. We are looking at several areas of disturbed weather and two other tropical storms in the Atlantic right now, we are nearing the peak of hurricane season. Fortunately, nothing an immediate threat to the U.S. at the moment, but we'll want to keep watching those. And you'll just want to stay tuned to the Capital Weather Gang for all the latest on Hurricane Dorian and everything else happening in the tropics. For the Capital Weather Gang, I'm Jason Salmonow.